Okay. Before we started uh, doing these videos, we watched the premiere of season six of Game of Thrones. I watched it already, but I showed him. Um, and here's the Game of Thrones the musical. I've heard about this. It's like Coldplay apparently did it, but I don't know much about it. I think the like a bunch of the cast members were actually involved. <laughs> like makes sense. Coldplay did it. The night is dark and full of terrors. Okay. <laughs> right. The winter is coming. We're gonna see. This is full twelve minute version. I think this is the completeness. So, three, two, one, boom. We're gonna see what this is. Exactly what it is. Before watching the sketch, please take time to donate. You'll be helping to change the lives in the USA around. So donate to Red Nose Day USA. Go to PO. Dot Ooh, all these people involved? Don't know who they are, but... It was... Liam Neeson. <laughs> there are Starks, and there are Lannisters, and Kardashians, and... Oh. Targaryens, idiot. And Targaryens, and of course there's someone knows. Welcome to the crazy, wacky world of Game of Thrones. Nice. I like it. Thanks, sir. Cool. In an exclusive Red Nose Day revelation, we've discovered that the British band Coldplay are secretly working on a musical of TV sensation Game of Thrones. This is the best idea we've ever had. It's just been the most amazing creative outpouring. Trust me, Papa Dom. Wait, wait, how many Papa Doms? The band have been long time fans of the show. <laughs> and bearded drummer Will Champion. Oh, Liam Neeson. Just now, as Liam Neeson was narrating this. Red Wedding episode. Oh. They've gathered in the Henson Recording Studio in Los Angeles him, oh. to work up the 16 songs required for a full Broadway stage production. Nice. Have you got any lyrics? Yeah. Around the world. My heart had to roll. Well, when I first heard about it, I was uh, a little bit skeptical, but now <laughs> wow. I'm completely convinced. You look so it's different. A horrible <laughs> idea. He looks better when he has all his hair on. Yeah. It's the worst idea I've ever heard. <laughs> wow. One word that springs to mind when I'm thinking about this project is Titanic. But not in terms of the successful movie, uh, in terms of. She looks of the better like this. Movie. In terms of the unsuccessful bird. Finally, after months of writing and planning, Chris has invited along the entire cast of Game of Thrones to recruit <laughs> them into the live Broadway show. Fellas, how you doing? Yeah, I right. had a moment of inspiration. Where's the, the, where's the, uh, get the whole cast Kingslayer? Come. Everyone thought it was a brilliant idea, so uh, that's what's happening. It's a big day, big day for us. All the actors are gathering to hear the songs performed for the first time. I want that coat, well, though. not all of them. More two. <laughs> I was told Sean Bean Ramsey was and Robert Burns. Dude looks so cool. Well, no, I don't think there's quite as many of us as the band would have hoped, but uh, it's still a very exciting day. This is called Rastafarian Targaryen. <laughs> yep! Targaryen, Targaryen. I got some dragons and a pretty scary. So, Chris, how do you think it's going? Stunning, stunning. People are literally stunned. And what if some of them can't sing? Well, the funny thing is, they can't sing. <laughs> okay, three, four. Red wedding, red wedding. Lots of stopping and the bits of beheading. No, 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 no. <laughs> Two, three, four. He looks so different. It's so weird. I know. <laughs> well, with these things, it's, it's really weird. Um, Fifty percent of the cast seem really into it, so um, I think we're onto something really special. Fifty <laughs> percent. It's been of the cast? a slightly disappointing day. <laughs> that beautiful, beautiful man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> oh my god. 
don't Jesus. Know. What's his actual name? Kit Harrington. I'd never let you down, man. Nah, it's John Snow. I'd say it's John Snow for the rest of his life now. Thank you, Kit Snow. <laughs> Kit Snow. <laughs> what we got, man? Kit Harrington. It's day two of the workshop. Still going strong. And suddenly things take a turn for the better. With a phone call from Jon Snow and the offer of free food, <laughs> a huge <laughs> chunk of the cast have arrived. <laughs> People are just coming. Free? <laughs> 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 when was this recorded, I wonder? Yeah. Good <laughs> to see you, man. Love your shirt, mate. Love your shirt. You look great. What the heck? <laughs> I saw, I saw Egret in there. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. You saw, you saw my beloved. Oh, Egret. I love the nuggets, please. Of course, you will. You fat thing. I love the nuggets, please. This dude's tall. Oh, him from Brant with Brant. I know, I know. That dude's cool. Drumsticks is there, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. I'll have the nuggets, please. <laughs> Sweep them right up. Yep. Ooh. John says just a cool dude. Kind of kind of tight man. pants, but. He's a sexy man, he can do what he wants. He's like undeniable. <laughs> of course. Wildlings. <laughs> of course, he gets like, yeah. Egret is. You can can pull your bowstring and <laughs> shoot me. That's <laughs> me. <laughs> Get it. I think I love you. But I wanna know for sure. I wanna take you into that cave and kiss you, baby. Down there. Cause I've never done it before. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is Get awesome. <laughs> you guys are weird blue. Yeah. Yeah. You're so pretty. What's her name? Rose, I think. I think she's Rose Leslie. Like, or beautiful name for her. Just be careful. I think that's it. Yeah. So. No, it wasn't. No, nothing, Chris Martin. <laughs> It'd be cute if those two were actually together. Old wounds are healed as new songs are revealed. I'm a real bastard. <laughs> okay, so Red Wedding. We're all passionate about this one, as, as you know. <clears throat> it starts very serious. You don't Excuse mess me. around with water friends. Don't mess around with water You don't mess around with water friends. Every style of music <laughs> canon is captured in one day of blazing <laughs> Where's where's Rob Stark though? If you're here for the wedding of Robbie Stark, keep the car running. There's no need to park. He's not going to make it through the night. Keep that wedding cake in the fridge. He didn't pay me back for using the bridge. I'm afraid this wedding won't be white. Everybody. Red wedding, red wedding, lots of stabbing and a bit of beheading. The reigns of Castamir are here to stay. Red wedding, dead wedding, head shredding, bloodshed wedding. There will be no wedding of bedding. Hey, you don't mess around with water. Bang, curse. Mm, that's Tony good. Award. Great. That was beautiful. That was the best thing I've heard all day. The workshop spreads like wildfire. Suddenly, everyone is in. Do you know what? I've never been prouder to be in anything. <laughs> I always knew it was going to be a triumph. George R. Martin meets Chris Martin. What could go wrong? She says. Game of what now? Aye. 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 What? <laughs> <laughs> 
when you wanna reach me And if you feel the love then you can call me Kali See got so many Queen of the Marine Yeah you can kiss me sandals Dude she's beautiful Can you be honest? I know it's like a musical, but I can also hear it like I can hear it in the radio. I can hear it everywhere. Like yeah, this it's, it's like it's a, it's, it's a, a hit. Song. It's a big song. <laughs> Raw emotion pours out from every corner of the globe. <laughs> Are you thinking about Joffrey, such a spirited lad? So he was his uncle. I was also his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Romantic ballad about incest in cold place clear. Now I'm looking for something a little closer to home. So he was really pretty in the beginning, but so he is. He's going in. <laughs> they gotta bring they gotta bring Peter Dinklage out. Tyrion. Oh! Greatest rock opera of all time is coming together. <laughs> still going strong. He's still going strong. Yeah, yeah. He's still going strong. Remember Ned Stark, he was a lot of fun, so but he didn't make it past season one. <laughs> Some people's parts just ain't very long, but not me. Still going strong. He's still going strong. Uh, uh. I can't believe it. It's a dream come true. <laughs> Everything's heck? coming together. This is a beautiful Everyone's thing. Board. We just need George R. R. Martin's permission, and then we're off. George R. R. He's going to go absolutely crazy. What? And Chris was right. The writer, George, George R. R. Martin, R. R. Mm. did go absolutely crazy. You sing or you die. <laughs> it's a setback. But uh, <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Change some words around. Plenty of other brilliant ideas. This is whatever show you can get. That's not bad, actually. I better get my skates on then. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed that at all, um, and you feel like making a donation at rednoseday.org. That was great. That was, <laughs> that was the best thing. That was cute. Yeah. And that was the best thing I've seen. Ever. <laughs> Ever. On the show. It's a nice collaboration. <coughs> like how they had their little bits of their characters coming out <laughs> between them. Now you're going to take the drumsticks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there was there any big ones missing. Yeah. Who was this? Ned Stark. 2015, last year. Oh, wow. So this was after... Right around... Yeah, right after season five. No. Probably right in the middle of season five. So... Yeah, I don't think they would bring Ned Stark. That would have been interesting, though. <laughs> that would be beautiful. Um, Bran, they didn't have Bran. I know, I was about to say, like, young, young, young magic. <laughs> Hodor! <laughs> <laughs> that was a missed opportunity for him to just come in and start singing Hodor. Hodor, 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 Hodor. But like he'd have the flashiest one of all. It'd be like huge stage production. Hodor! Yeah, for such an insignificant <laughs> that character. Great. That was a missed opportunity, but you know. Well, I guess he wasn't in season five. Maybe that's why. Yeah, Bran wasn't in season five. He wasn't, so maybe that's why they didn't. They were all pretty relevant characters. Cersei wasn't actually in there. She was just mentioned. And so this is a great thing. Uh, yeah, I'm always up for it. But all right. Okay, incest. Love you. Don't take, don't take his words. That's nasty. Don't do that.